Hello there, lovely people. This is me, Ashley, here, sending my love to you from whatever reality I'm in today to whatever reality you find yourself in. I'm sorry, but this is going to be a bit of a different video, and some of you aren't going to be very impressed with it, but I don't care, quite frankly, because I have to say what I have to say. I am not going to mention the, the channel at all, because I actually respect the person. I'm not going to mention the channel at all, but... It's, this isn't the only channel. There are a number of channels that are saying this. And I want to put the record straight. Islam has got absolutely nothing to do with the Bible changes. Nothing. Nothing. I am sick of hearing the link between the changes in the Bible being to do with Islam. One person in Britain changing from being a Muslim to a Christian does not carry weight for the whole of Islam. Now, the reason why I'm saying this to you is because, quite frankly, I have lots of Muslim friends, actual friends, you know, not people that you've heard of, actual Muslim friends that are, quite frankly waiting for Jesus to come back. It's the same Jesus. It's just what... The thing is getting me really, really pissed off. Isa is just Jesus in Arabic. What's so difficult to understand about that? Oh, my God. Please. Is this, it's got nothing to do with Islam at all. I mean, the, the oh, covering the face, uh, being shamefacedness in the Bible now, has got absolutely nothing to do with Islam. Because covering the face doesn't even happen in Islam. It's not in the Quran. It's just one version. There are 72 versions of Islam, just the same as there are many versions of Christianity. Please stop linking this to Islam. And please stop linking bigotry towards Islam with the Mandela effect. It's just not on. And women, I mean, I heard earlier, please stop it. You know who you are. I heard you say earlier that women, Muslim women are really repressed. They're not. My Muslim friends had more, have more freedom in their relationships than I had in mine. That I had in mine by a white middle-aged man who has no link to bloody Islam whatsoever. My friends are allowed to go off, do what they want. Stop listening to bullshit bigots. Please. Oh, I, this is so frustrating. It's so frustrating. I don't want to fall out with you. I don't want to fall out with you, but please stop linking. Isa is just Jesus, the name for Jesus in Arabic. It's not a different fucking Jesus. It's the same Allah is just God in Arabic. Arabic Christians say Allah. Arabic Christians say the very same things that, that oh, please. They say Allah Akbar because it means God is the greatest. Stop listening to bigots and thinking that you understand because you don't. I know actual Muslims, they're my friends, they come in my home. They are waiting for the Jesus. Yes, they believe that, they, that he was a prophet. But they revere him as they revere every prophet in the Bible. Much more than Christians do. They, they don't want to see a picture of Jesus any more than they want to see a picture of Muhammad. Peace be upon him. They say peace be upon him after Jesus. And quite frankly, my friends, my Muslim friends, they don't call him Isa to me. They call him Jesus. Because that's who he is. And they're waiting for the very same Jesus to return. It's this shit that is pissing me off. It's causing division in the world. And you are watching Katie fucking Hopkins. The most twisted, bigoted bitch known to man. Please. Oh, please. I've tried to let you know. I've come on your posts and tried to let you know. But you're not listening.
please listen to me, love. You're not doing yourself or us or anybody any favours. In fact, Islam has more, actually has more in common with Christianity than Judaism does. They're waiting for the Messiah to come, the same Messiah as we are, as Christian people, Muslims. We don't know who the Jews are waiting for because they're not waiting for Jesus. Why aren't you waffling on about that? Why aren't you questioning who the Jews are waiting for instead of having a go at uh, Islam, who are waiting for Jesus, whether they believe he's the son of God or not. They know he's the Messiah. They don't. They know fine well that the prophet Muhammad was only a prophet and he isn't coming back. They know that. Oh my God, I've never been so angry. I didn't think on a Mandela effect scenario, I'd have to deal with Islamophobia. And the reason why I'm getting upset is because I deal with Islamophobia. That's what I do. In my ordinary life, I get shit off the people that you are putting up. That you're holding up in reverence. She doesn't even... Katie Hopkins doesn't even represent fucking Christianity. Oh, my God. I have never been so wound up in my life. Not on a Mandela effect thing, please. It crosses all... I know... Do you know what? My Muslim friend is affected. She's waiting, desperately waiting for Jesus. She knows about the mark of the beast. They know about all the same things. Please stop causing more division and, and causing chaos and frustration in people when you don't know what you're talking about. Please. The Mandela effect crosses all religions and people with none. Now you can you can you can unsub me, I don't give a shit. Do what you want. But stop spreading false hatred. Do you think God wants you to do that? Do you? Really? Oh love, please. I've tried and you're not taking any notice of me, so I'm hoping I'm hoping that you watch this. And I'm saying it with an open heart to you. See how frustrated you've made me because you're not listening and all you're listening to is bigots that don't know anything at all about Islam. And I do because I have read the Quran and I do know Muslims. Katie Hopkins has never met a frigging Muslim in her life other than to shout at them and tell them shit. And one Muslim converting to bloody Christianity does not make nearly bloody three billion people, or sorry, two billion people, Evil. Stop. This is what the Masons actually said. Albert Pike, he said, the next world war is going to be against Islam. They, they planned it. They made it all happen. And you're helping that. Please stop. Please. Any of you out there that are giving it large about the Bible changes being very Islamic, it isn't Islamic at all. Muslims are as worried about it as we are. I actually, I've actually posted myself a video of an imam getting really upset by it because they revere the book. They revere the Bible. Islam is mainly the Bible. In fact, it is the Bible, but with a little bit added on, which is all about living your life properly. If you'd actually take time to look instead of bloody listening to bigoted twats. Now, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I apologise, but we've got end times coming. We've got end times coming, and my Muslim friends are desperate for Jesus, the same Jesus, to come back to take us to the one and the only frigging God, no matter what you call him. Allah is just God in Arabic. Easter is just Jesus in Arabic. The Mandela effect is above all of this. Please, leave your bigotry out of the Mandela effect and out of life.